I just finished making the stop. And I thought I might as well uh, show the rest of my so-called collection. I have uh, a few different uh, types, I think you can call it. I don't have uh, designs or plans for them. Uh, it's, uh, let's call it uh, freehand or something like that. This one is uh, 10 millimeters uh, diameter. Here I have a real fat one. I um, don't know, it's a uh, two part, uh, one big uh, cylinder and a small stem. Here is uh, another hexagon, but the was trying uh, to make a very small stem, but uh, it doesn't really work. Can't uh, get it in uh, one location very well. I've got uh, more of these uh, die kinds of uh, ones. This is uh, one piece. Here's one with a uh, spoke pattern. Which I will uh, be trying again uh, in the future, but uh, I will make nice videos from it, I think. Oh, this one. There's another uh, two part uh, design, it's a bit thinner disc, but uh, these are quite easy to make. I've got a few with. Uh, Copper disc. Uh, I had a copper rod and uh, a brass pipe which uh, nearly fit, so I uh, tried to uh, heat shrink them into each other and part of discs, and then make uh, tops out of them with uh, trying to make uh, the same uh, stem, trying to get it uh, all alike, and then. Uh, Making different sizes of disc, but uh, some of them uh, turned out uh, okay, others one didn't. This is just brass, by the way. Here the outer rim uh, fell off. But these are uh, quite jittery. Here I have a two piece with a long stem. Another uh, dice. Uh, this is a uh, single piece. Also one piece, uh, big brass one. And they're all brass. Here a very large uh, six sided one, uh, made it from a stub of uh, I think it's 22 or 23 millimeters uh, six sided uh, bar stock, but it could use some work, I uh, don't quite like it, it's a simple design, and uh, what's it, uh, 13 millimeters or something like that. Nice and stable. Uh, another thin one with a long stem. Uh, kind of, uh, uh, I would call it a bell shape. Here, a uh, bell shape with a uh, very long stem. Another one with, which is a bit uh, top heavy, no pun intended. I'm uh, not trying my best at uh, throwing these, but uh, uh, some of these are made with a uh, six millimeter uh, round inserted tool, which is. Uh, uh, it works quite well, leaves a nice finish and then uh, you can cut a uh, piece of brass very quick. Uh, there's one of the, uh, the other copper ones, copper discs. And the uh, last uh, three are a bit of uh, odd type, it's uh, a bearing, 
Uh, I got these. Uh, I was uh, planning to build a uh, Mendel type uh, Reprop uh, 3D printer, and it used a lot of uh, bearings, so I ordered them, but. In the end, I uh, ended up making another uh, type, and uh, I didn't uh, have any need for these bearings, so I've got a, a lot of these and nothing uh, to do with them. So I thought I'd made a top. And uh, this one, uh, the bearing is quite low, but if it gets a bit higher, the behavior gets a bit odd. And I don't know what it is, but uh, kind of like it. But they don't spin very long, so uh, Oh, that's it really. Uh, also, uh, my newest uh, part of the collection. Number is a four. Oh, well, that's it. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's tops. I, uh, I sometimes make one if I feel like it, uh, or if I have a, a piece of brass uh, in, a, in my truck, and uh, I'll just make one once in a while. 